Okay, here we are. Oh wait, we have to go over here. Go to that stream. Get into that one. Over here. Stats. Make sure the stats is up there. Then get chatbot up. Okay. And oh yeah. Then drive the truck. So, welcome to my stream. I've added another axle to my Scania. Just because I wanted to do heavy haul with this too. Can't do them right now. But I will. Um, I gotta do a note, actually. Road Hunter. Anyway, that's my truck. It's got some, um, got some Brazilian. It's one Innovar, whoever Innovar is. It's got some uh, Brazilian markings on it. I got Michelin tires. Because, because they're cool. I got some, a few extra lights. Not a hell of a lot of extra lights. And this is my, um, Shop to show you my trailer. Uh, let go. Let's go here. Trailer manager. Well, this one is just a flatbed. Um, it's, um, body length is almost fourteen meters, whatever that is. Feet and. Um, Weighs uh, just uh, over 5,000 kilograms. Three axles, one liftable, and one steerable. Total length, 13.7. So, that's cool. The other one I have is this. I got this through Road Hunter doll, and it's a. <sighs> total length, 17 meters, so longer. Weight, a lot more. 19,000 kilogram, but it carries very heavy loads, and it's got uh, five axles, all steerable. The other choice was to have um, five axles and the front and rear liftable, but um, I was hoping to drive it here in Brazil, but unfortunately I can't see. I can't see myself getting around the corners with that. Anyways, we're going to do some exploring here, and I'm cooking my uh, dinner too. We are, I'll show you where we are on the map. We are, I think, Turos. We're going down to, I, I already I already hopped over to here, to the go-to to get here just to configure the truck and that. So it's, it's uh, discovered, but I'm going to go in here to the, the port, really. Panorim. Sorry. Parna medium. And that will enable me to um that'll be enable me to discover more cargoes, and then I'll find something to go I, I wanna go I wanna go cross country. This I uh, am yeah. Yellow part. I I pretty well explored the perimeter of the existing map before. So the white part is all stuff that they've added on. Well, there's a lot more Brazil, a lot more roads to explore. Some in the middle too. Some out here. The only thing I added is I came in from. Uh, I did a go to to get to get to Vina del Mar in Chile, or to San Diego. I actually drove up here and then came back. 
Los Andes. Now, the reason it's called Los Andes is because the road is like this up the Andes. If you go in and look at my uh, Twitch or YouTube videos, you'll see wow, where the road goes. So. Without more ado. Do I have automatic air brake? I should take that off in the options. Automatic, 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 automatic. Parking brake, handling brake. Take that off. Yeah, then I can put it on or off as I want. So, what do we got? We've got, uh, we've got a lot of fuel, but we just fill up again. Our air is good, I think. go back to this one which is the cruise control because we'll be using it oh we should put some lights on too eh just the uh, just the running lights see they're on the side and uh, in the front you can't put the same uh, quite the same amount of lights you can't put quite the same amount of lights as you can in a ATS but still um, let me check my sound levels too because I'll be driving on the roof Anson hello how are you I'm doing good. My uh, goat stew is currently simmering. Uh, no idea how it's going to turn out. The recipe has you marinate it for a long time in uh, soy, soy sauce, and vinegar. And then you add some more stuff and throw it all in a pot. Um, you know, brown it sort of stuff. So far, it tastes like soy sauce and vinegar. But, we'll see. Oh, that's too bad here. Sorry to hear that, man. Um... Is your doctor not able to give you any any um, any medication to ease ease the depression? thinking if you had medication that would help ease the depression and stuff that's not, you know, addictive. Oh, okay. Uh, but your family doctor might be able to give you something, you know. No, short term, non-addictive, of course. Just to uh, get you there. When I was, uh, I think I, I think I said this before. When I had separated, I was very depressed and had a lot of things to work out, a lot of guilt, and feelings, all sorts of crap, and wasn't sleeping. And so my doctor gave me some 
my old sleeping pill to help me sleep so that I would be more rested so during the day I would be able to cope with all the issues I was trying to deal with. And it worked. I, I cope. I got some of the issues dealt with, settled in my mind, and then I was able to go off the sleeping pills and I was sleeping better because I wasn't so stressed. So. But, you know, I tell people, nothing wrong with medication, nothing wrong with uh, seeing a shrink. I had a friend back in university who used to joke that he was the only one in our group who actually had a, that had a piece of paper saying he was not insane. And we were, this is back in the late 60s, early 70s, you know, hippies. He made a lot of wild statements at a family dinner of all sorts of, just just to rile people up. Just, you know, about taking over the world and conspiracies and all sorts of shit. Bill, uh, what was it? Bill Lenahan, I think was his name. And his family had him certified. Uh, the way he, he said so, I told the doctors, I was just trying to joke around through the family, and what I really wanted to do, he said, was graduate from university, get married, move into the suburbs, get a nice house with a white picket fence, none of which we wanted to do, but he told them exactly what they wanted to hear, and they let him out with a piece of paper saying, Bill, this certifies that you are sane. So, I am in Brazil, my friend. truck. Note the um, Brazilian markings on it. I'm driving from Turos down to here and then I will be pick up the cargo and I'm going to explore I don't know over to yeah I'll cut to ferry boat I'll go up to here. This is just another part of the map it's not actually across water but it's a they're jumping between, I think if you look at Bellum and Macapa on the Brazilian map, there's a big chunk there. So this is instead of instead of doing the highway, you can, you know, some maybe somebody in their team developed this chunk. And it doesn't match up, so they said, okay, we'll just put a ferry in for now, so. so this is my truck. I have a Canadian flag and a Brazilian flag. markings on my own trailer and I sort of got to paint the match in the paint shop. Uh, oh, I better uh, don't go away. I need to check my uh, I need to check my stew and make sure it's simmering and not boiling and not doing nothing. So I'll be right back. Try to remember that I'm muted. Unmuted. It did not have to remind me, my friend. Still looks good. Turned it up just a smidge. Chair's crooked now, though, just a sec.
I got coasters under a couple of the wheels and, and two on one side. If you have a desk chair at your computer for gaming, folks, and uh, it keeps rolling back whenever you step on the brake, if you're on a hardwood floor, then you, there's these furniture coasters that are like a little very, very shallow cup with a um, piece of carpet. Mine are wooden, but like a little wooden cup. They're metal with a little piece of carpet on the bottom. And you just sit the, the uh, wheel from the uh, chair in it. Just need a couple. Great. As you can see, so this trailer is self steering. You can see that back wheel. Well, actually, what I should do here, I forgot to, let's lift that axle. See the one behind the cab, not rolling anymore. And this one here, the front trailer axle, lift it too. It doesn't make much difference in the performance of the truck, but it's what the, what the cool guys do, so. The real truckers do. Uh, saves on, they're empty, so you're going to save on rubber. This place I discovered already. Para, para, parano, paranormal mania. I don't know, Biri. Had somebody from uh, Brazil on here at one point. Um, Reg, Reg ICD. Oops. Well, I'm not sure why the highway has me going around that way. It seems to go right through here. Maybe this is a, uh, I was going to say maybe this is not the industrial route, but, you know, going through the middle of the town, pretty industrial to me. Actually, let's go to the right and go see more town. It looks less industrial to the right. The garage there, too. As you see, it's self-steering, so it scoots around a little better than you think. Now, the problem is when you go to back it up to park it, you have to over undercompensate. Because it tries to steer the back end to help you. And you do the normal backing up, crank the wheel a bit, and before you know it, the back end is just charging off. Much too sharp a turn. Uh, okay. Is this here? Oh, there's the bus terminal. You can get buses in this game. Um, I think you buy them somehow. Um, as I think there's a mod. Actually, one of the add-ons, one of the one of the mods for the map, I think, enables buses. Camp. Also can't see where the shit can you? We'll pull out this far before you can see that there's nobody coming. Not good. Well, good from a developer point of view. It challenges the driver. But Ooh, that's nice. Big apartment building, I guess. Thanks. Um, well, let's just look and see what we can get in Natal. Now we have our own, our 
own trailer. So, Natal. And we're going to cargo weight. So, all we can do, oh, we can do tubing. Now, we don't want to do any of these. There's going to be a whole bunch of them going to Europe. No. Oh, sorry. I have to click on the city, don't I? Where I am. Um, so, Brazil. I think this is Brazil South. It certainly is. And Brazil Northeast? It is. Okay, but we want to go up there. Aberdeen here. You see, that's what I want. Way up that way. I want to explore that part of the map. Also, my choices. These are weird. Pressure tanks. So this is kind of interesting. You put a couple of semi-trailers on top of your semi-trailers. So I think I'm going to do the... Uh, where was that? Why doesn't it show it? Maybe this one. Yes. Offer expires in 18. It's going to pay me... That's only an eight hour job, which is three hours. Sorry, eight sixteen twenty-four. Twenty-four minutes in this game, so half an hour. That's good. I need a couple of half hour jobs because uh, my stew is gonna take probably till another half hour. My stew will be possibly ready. I say possibly, it says cook until goat is tender. Let's take this lane here, like that. Start with that truck. Possibly. Probably won't even have to lift my uh, axles even with this load 22 times. It's not a big load. I wonder if the game actually tells me to. I do. That the horn I got on this? I guess it's okay. so we can really see and we'll go. I got a wooden deck for this, although it'd be nice if you could have a weathered looking wooden deck. I know they don't like, they like everything to look new in this game. You know, for the sake of the, oops, subscribers. Sorry, the sponsors. But is or if we want to add some little detours to make sure we hit different towns. Um do 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 probably do that so make sure we hit that place. And this one whoops. We're gonna hit I think we'll see. 
going right through the middle of the town. That one, and up here. Okay. LMZ. LMZ, my friends. Now, do we need that axle down? Let's see what happens when we drop it. Let's see if it actually see if the truck front goes up much. Negligible. Okay, what about that? Uh, let's get a head more. What about the trailer when I put this down? Does the trailer go up or down much? Barely. I'll have to test this with a heavy haul, although I think this is the... Uh, I think the heaviest cargo you can get is this 22 tons. Let's look at the job market. Use your own trailer. Just take the general everywhere. 24 tons. So. I have the DLC for um, Heavy har heavy cargo. So freight market heaviest you can get seventy tons. Yep, this is good. This is good. We like that. So I could I actually I could have been towing one of those around. Uh, well, but I like the idea of having my own trainer. It's not too heavy. that corner? Yes, we are. Just had a feeling there might be somebody there. The AI uh, sort of measures where you are and spawns a car. You can sometimes fool it, stop dead, then keep going. this load and the game is uh, not that devious unless you're in the down in a quarry I don't know if Stick to my lane, and I did. Um, uh, once we get on the highway, we can set the speed control, and we'll see what it looks like. I was down. Uh, I don't know if you were following. Yeah, my other stream you're on. I was. The mountain, of course, is really the Andes Mountains are amazing. But then either side of the Andes, it's flat, pampas, which is possibly what exists. In Brazil, but it's pretty boring. I think the game's got us going that way again. I wonder why they do that. Like the routing you'd get when you apply for a permit or heavy haul or something. 
not going to do it. Do we get a fine? No. Do we get kicked? No, it's not multiplayer. Oh, it wants me to go down here now. It just, it's, it's relentless, isn't it? are pretty good with 22 tons. So I'm just going to drive for half an hour, I think, as my stew will be done by then. Finish this load. No, we're not stopping. map can give up. Let me tell me to go this way. Guess it is. So that's right to the floor. It accelerates. It, you know, it gets going. I don't have my uh, fan lads on here, do I? So this truck is a team line, okay. Fan leds, uh, F A N A L E D S, is for the uh, leds that are on the G29 wheel. Screen just look good, yep. Yeah. Set them to uh, reflect the RPM. Oop. Yep. Okay. Are we good? Yep, we're good. So, well recovered. I turned into it. You see that? You know, I think there's something about this Brazil map, because I don't usually dip over that often. You're one of my longtime fans. Oh. Yeah, change stability, you get that little jump, but we're good, I think. Damaged, except, uh, well, if we look, we can see what we damaged. Or just the tires. Oh. So, did, hopefully, did you manage to clip that, uh, Hanson? <laughs> I'll have to go in and clip it after. Just bouncing back up on my feet, just like a, you know, it's like a figure skater. Okay, so let's set this. We'll set it to, well, we'll set it to 90, I guess. It means we'll go faster than 90 going downhill, but that's okay. Okay, so this is our north. Not as far north as you can go on the map, but it is farther north on the, on the map, which means it's closer to the equator, which means you're going to have more things like palm trees, and we do. We seem to be all good here. Nice rumble when he put a, more, a bit more load on the engine and go up the hill. Yep. 
50. 30. Purple stuff, whatever that is. Thirty sort of helps, but it still looks pretty. Um... Oh, see, that's kind of cool. It catches that one tire and gets it spinning. We'll do with the same with the uh, truck tires. It goes over the bump. It's gonna be less of me. Catches the truck tire. Catches the trailer tire. Oops, gets them spinning, and then they, uh, then they stop. Ooh, nice. Um, I'm gonna check my stew again. Don't go away. Hmm, well, looks okay. The recipe says to uh, simmer for an hour until the goat meat is partially tender, tender, and then I add carrots and potatoes and, well, peas. I don't have peas. I'll add green beans. And, you know, in big chunks. And then uh, cook for another 30 minutes until goat meat is very tender. I think marinating is supposed to uh, help that too. So far, it tastes mostly like goat meat, or like, uh, sorry, mostly like soy and vinegar. But we'll see. It's an experiment. There were some steps in the recipe that were kind of weird, but I think I might change. Like they had you crush. They had you crush the garlic, put it in the marinade, but. It's hard to crush garlic without it breaking up. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the... After it marinates, you take the meat out. And uh, let it... And brown it. You'd, oh yeah, dry it off with paper towels and then brown it. But, but you got to pick off all the garlic bits. And then... Uh, then you're supposed to... After you brown it, then you're supposed to do... Brown some onions and green chunks of green pep red pepper and and the garlic that was in the marinade that I'm that somehow you're gonna have to scoop that out dry it off or something so so needless to say I like to try a recipe as is and then modify it if it tastes okay uh, we'll see I'll put it on my, uh, if you go to my, if you do dollar sign discord, you can go to my channel and you can be, uh, it's only 40 here. You can go to my, uh, my, uh, server and, uh, my 
got channels there for chatting about truck mods and um, maps and convoys and self-promotion and recipes. So. Oh, sorry, I missed that thing. Yeah, I don't remember you told me. So I just look. I'm looking back at the. Uh, you have ambient to sleep, uh, but you know something just to help you during the day. I was thinking. suppose you could I guess you could smoke smoke the marijuana if that works for you and calms you down although that could be addictive so speaking of which while I was cooking the goat recipe I had Spotify playing uh, reggae reggae music Jamaican music mod so I was Groove into the reggae while I was cooking my uh, goat stew. Thought it was appropriate. <laughs> oh, different kind of vegetation. Okay, this is better. Some sort of things. Oh, okay. Well, you could move to now. Well, actually, um, the problem or the issue or whatever in Canada is that. Um, let me check my speed control. Where the hell are we? Marijuana is uh, becomes legal across is is legal across Canada now. It becomes legal in Ontario in another week. Um, I think they I think they rushed it through. Our, our Trudeau, our, our charismatic and mostly popular prime minister, had uh, promised it promised it in his election campaign. He would legalize it. The problem is they haven't really investigated it that much. Like Health Canada has never really done a study as to whether it actually is medically enough. There is there's evidence that it, whether there's evidence that it medically helps people. Yet we have medical marijuana, and uh, they have no idea how they're going to control it for driving or operating heavy machinery or, well, the army's banned it. And in Ottawa, they've said that you can smoke anywhere that you smoke cigarettes, you can smoke dope. And it really smells, and uh, some people find it quite offensive. So you could be sitting at a cafe, maybe somebody just, well, even somebody just standing just outside or walking by on the street, puffing away. Now I can't do pot anyway anymore. I used to. Uh, I did years ago, my younger days, but it uh, makes me paranoid. So I stick to alcohol, especially craft beer. Reed, how you doing? How you doing? I'm in Brazil. Here's my truck. It has various Brazilian markings on it. Oops! Why don't we pull over? Yes, especially since there's a cop up there. So it has various Brazilian markings and things on it. And uh, I bought my own trailer to match it. Color.
I'm going, we then went from Turus down to Natal, and now I'm going across to Fortaleza. But it's, as you know, it's a humongous map. Cool. Pretty cool. Um, but I can't drive. It's a short trip, and that's good because I have to go after, I go have to check out my, uh, I'm making a goat stew. Um, not because I'm in Brazil, because I was in the grocery store the other day looking through the frozen... Ooh, it's a horse in an accident. Shit. Looking through the, uh, I was looking through the frozen stuff, and then there was a couple of things of goat pieces, a couple of pounds of goat. Uh, mostly lake, cut up in chunks. Like you would uh, cut up pork hocks, or um, veal shank for osobuso, that sort of thing. And the butcher said, "Yeah, he'd had, you know, he'd had this carcass left over, left over from a carcass from whatever in the freezer, and decided to cut it up and sell it. Sure, I'll take it. Pretty cheap." I'm attempting a goat stew. That's my Thanksgiving dinner. Actually, if you Google, I was looking for an image to go with it, and uh, if you look Google uh, images of roast goat, there's a lot of pictures of goat on a spit, or you can very easily tell it's still a goat. disconcerting. And the sun's setting. What time are we supposed to be here? Oh, 23 Saturday night. This Saturday. Well, depends how dark it gets. I guess I want to see the countryside, but there's not a lot of countryside to see. Okay, it's uh, better in this northern part than it was down in the southwest. The southwest was boring except for the insane mountain climb. You missed, I only tipped over one street. And not even a sharp corner with this load. Biker dudes. They're riding right through that cop car. I wonder how substantial they are. There we go. Geez, there's bikers all over the place here. Okay. We're taking them all out. Okay. It's like a club. Oh, geez. Going right down the bloody road. I tip, yeah. But, and still no test to this. I felt myself tipping and I cranked the wheel left, and it was enough, I guess, so I tipped on my side and bounced back up. No damage. But I went in and cranked up the trailer stability from 30% to 80%. I usually drive it at like 30. Because it's more, I feel it's more realistic, but... Again, again, is this map, ha are they having me go through? Oh no, this is me. I wanted to make sure I discovered this place. Okay. My bad. Oop, I did discover it. Okay. Two times yesterday I had a rollover. Yes, yes. Those were rollovers. And that was up in the... I definitely wouldn't have gotten a tow truck. Um, now, rollover would imply that I actually rolled all the way over like a dog. I'm not sure. Um, I think both times I ended up on my side. But it doesn't really matter because I was 
way up in the Andes Mountains and you never get a tow truck to go up there, so. No, it's deceptive on this map. Um, I'll have to ask the developers. You know, I suppose they can, you know, you can modify anything you want in a, in a map file. You can have other things to load, you know, other parameters you change, like truck stability. So. so it's possible that the uh, developers uh, actually do that. Play with the uh, parameters to make you tip better. Oops. When you go over these things, it starts the wheels. Um, it often catches the wheels if you're going slow enough. Like that. The wheel that's running free catches it and then it spins a bit and then stops. Same with that back one. I got two liftable axles, so I've got them both up. I'm gonna go back in actually, and uh, after I after I finish this job, I'm gonna go back in as well. I gotta do my stew too, but map is doing uh, things here. After I get my stew organized, I'll. Uh, I'll clip my tip. Because it was epic. Uh, no, no, no. We gotta change the. Uh, it'll make us late for our job, but. Posto Policio, okay. Better not speed past the Posto Policio, they may give the tickets. Anybody? Probably too early. They're still cozy in their little bed there. What are we doing? Oh, apparently we're going this way. Well, that's an interesting use of a design of a roundabout. Sort of open it up. Huh. Chirpy bird's out, so morning is coming. Skies are nice in this game. So we had a good convoy yesterday um, in our lazy truckers. It was in um, in Oregon with uh, triple trailers. A lot of fun. And uh, MCB, the guy from Lazy Truckers, who's often organizing the, these, he's going to do um, he's going to do two a weekend now. One Saturday, one Sunday, or maybe around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and he's going to alternate between ETS and ATS, and he's also going to alternate between um, uh, DLC-free, 
and ones that have have more DLCs like uh, especially the heavy haul. He's gonna do a if you got the heavy haul DLC. He's gonna do one of those. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, so this will probably be my truck for that at ETS. I might leave it in Brazil. Oh no, I can't use Brazil colors. And I got another profile, but I'll have uh, I think for heavy haul I'm gonna have a. Uh, Add an axle. I just like the look of um, four axles. I do like Oregon. I do very much. Quite impressed. And I did some off. I've done some off-road too. Like I found Crater Lake and stuff, and, and uh, the lift bridge at uh, Astoria, whatever. And south of Bent, there's uh, some logging camps. I think that's. I think that's where the uh, Crater Lake is too. And on the west coast, there's a. You can wander through. Um, hardwood forest or. A, Redwood Forest. Pull off the side of the road at a little touristy thing in the midst of it. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I can hardly wait for Baltic. I mean, if they put that, they've done that big a level of detail for um, Paris, not good. If they've done that level of detail, jump in detail for ATS, um, ETS is already more detailed, so I'm, I have no idea what they're going to do for Baltic. I think Baltic is in... Well, it could be November, I guess, because here we are, October 8th. My son's birthday tomorrow. He'll be 39. He's looking for uh, gift certificates. Either for a computer store or for... Um, either a computer store or... Um, I think his mother was getting him one for Walmart so he could buy work boots. I might get him one for Mark's work warehouse. Maybe she can do that instead. We'll get better work boots at uh, better quality at Mark's work warehouse. A little more. Am I signaling it's a curve on the road? They're more expensive, but I think he needs work shoes. Uh, he's got to going to have a job as a uh, commissionaire. That's pretty cool. What was carrying the barriers in I-15 to block the road? Um, I forget where that was. Are you talking coast to coast where there were barriers that just slid over the road and blocked it more and more and more? And you had to go on the side of the road, the shoulder of the road to get around them? those barriers? He took out Canada was fixed. Hmm. So I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing Mandrid now is not going to fix that problem in coast to coast then. <laughs> Unless it's something he's done wrong and it just happens to be exploited by the Canada map on, on accidentally, but hmm. I haven't put the Can uh, coast to coast map in yet actually, to be honest. I looked in the um, SCS forum and it looks like a lot people are still having a lot of problems. He's gone in and he there was some kind of error that was like, I don't know. You know, 
1,426 or something, and he got it down to 900 by a bunch of editing or something, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how stable Coast to Coast is yet. I could probably wait another week, just keep going gaga over Oregon. <laughs> And I've got um, I've got heavy haul trailers. I've got ownable I've got an ownable heavy haul trailer now for now for ETS too. Um, low boy with um, RGN removable gooseneck that I can put you know, 70 80 ton loads on so. I just need the same thing. I need somebody to write one. That's one by Road Hunter. I need somebody else to write, write one, or maybe him, for ATS. I'll have to tell him that it doesn't work in um, Brazil Mod. Hello. Hello. Hello, Aries Dragon. How are you? Oh, look at this. This is a nice little... Oh. Aren't they generous with their uh, turning lane? I are good. I are good. How are you? It's uh, Thanksgiving weekend here, so I'm just um, letting. Oh, which means reminds me, I gotta go check supper. So don't go away. Just chat amongst yourselves there. <laughs> Okay, my Thanksgiving dinner is uh, looking good there. Time to, uh, I'll have to go on to the next phase, but I'm just going to quit after I deliver this load. i got to cut up a bunch of vegetables and stuff for it. Add a few more spices. Uh, you know what you guys, where you guys are going to stream? was on earlier today and I was watching a couple of people um, watch a mini B yesterday and I, I um, brought a bunch of streamers over to him like did a raid and he was saying I was welcome to join his convoy and I if I hadn't been again about to start dinner I would have um, so there's a number of people whose convoys I, f who f I follow on here that do convoys and they pretty well have a schedule, so I think I just need to find out when their next convoy is and then just join in. You know, go in the chat, say, hey, can I join? Give me your Discord. And yeah, more Oregon would be fun. And explore the off-roads, hey? Like, look for uh, look for Crater Lake and Mount Hood, and, like, there's a, there's a list of five or six things they said. There's more, but there's a list of things they've added. Oregon, so it'd be fun to find them on the map, like the real map, then guess where they put them in the game, and then go and find them. Like an Easter egg hunt, you know? That's an interesting gas station. And why do we have choppers? Why do developers put choppers in the game? 
like in the regular map, I, I see them, I see them there because they have, uh, there's an accident, so that's okay. Yeah, I gotta go to the optometrist tomorrow, in a couple of years. Probably gonna tell me my cataracts are getting worse. I want my cataracts to hurry up and get worse enough so that I can go in and get an operation and get, get new lenses. Uh, yes, they did a good job. They really cranked up the detail on this. Like I said, we'll see what Baltic is like. Our convoy was fun. There was only four of us, but we had these triple trailers. I don't know if you've ever pulled triple trailers in this game. You look in the mirror, and it looks like there's somebody following you, like with a long truck. No, no, all that stuff behind me, that's me. And uh, we had to go through, we went through a town, and we had to turn left, out of like an advanced green light, and there was other... We had to obey the light because there were other, you know, multiplayer... MP people there. So it took four lights for the four of us to get through them. Uppity. Spin the tire. Uppity. Spin the back tire for a while. No. Sorry, just trying to show you the tires. When you go over a bump, the tire that you've lifted gets caught spins a bit. Just like it would. Like, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. I remember I was saying that last night. Somebody online saying, yes, Reed has gone there. And he says, yes, this looks like Portland. Um, I found the only thing that was different, I think there was a cable car I was watching and Kathleen was driving in was it in Portland? There was a cable car, like, overhead? I'm turning. Don't cut in. Don't cut in. The car did cut in. They do. You gotta be fast. If you're gonna turn, go wide and cut in, the AI will try to sneak in next to you. Even though your signal's on, and they, you're a truck that's probably trying to do that. Uh, I suspect they, somebody, somebody did the cable car as a, uh, you know, as a thing, and then had, had, had to put it somewhere. <laughs> so we may see it in other cities. Whatever they add next. Um, so, in, in, you mean there's a cable car in, in real life? friend that used to drive a little mini miner and it was the original mini miner with the tiny engine and stuff like this and he'd be going down the highway and, and Derek actually was a tall guy he'd be going down the highway in this little car and there'd be a transport truck behind him and uh, Derek would flip his high beams on and off when it was clear ahead for the truck to pass him which was kind of funny because the guys the truck's headlights would be above Derek's car so the driver definitely could see Oh, oh, sorry, I get you. Sorry, I missed that. Yes. Cars cut in. Trucks go wide to turn. 
I was in a taxi in Toronto with my boss, and uh, the taxi we were in cut. There was a truck in the left lane, transport truck in the left lane, going wide to turn at a city intersection. I think it was two lanes going this way and then two the other way, but a four-lane road downtown. And the truck was in the left lane turning wide with the splasher on and everything like this, and the taxi... Bam. Tried to cut in, suddenly jammed on the brakes, the truck kept turning because he didn't know we were there. We were in a blind spot and the side of the transport just started coming up the hood of the cab. <laughs> My boss is out, 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 out. <laughs> we get out standing on the sidewalk and the cabbie's in there tooting his horn like like hell and all pissed off at the trucker and the trucker's like, oh well. We get a call from the cabbie's insurance company asking what had happened if we testify and we never got called to testify though after he got our you know we said yeah he said yeah it was the cabbie's fault it's kind of funny for us why are we going this way the map tends to get you to wander around here I'm not sure why it's nice. Bit of a tour, but every time we've gone through town, they've been a detour. Uh, maybe they're simulating a trucking route through the town. Be nice. No E, which apparently means no parking, as opposed to no ecstasy. there and we didn't parry. Parry I guess is yield. Oh I know. A ride along with the trucker would be a big help for people just to realize. This is a self steering trailer and it just is it just that it's too annoying. I'm trying to back it up. It's just too helpful. Be nice if there was an option with self steering tape trailers to turn the self steering off. Disable it. Uh, oh, I wonder if we're coming in enough on this even. Hope so. Oh, good thing. Just squeezed in. I know. Well, yeah, because in, in real life, often the steering axle is also a lift axle. Yeah, I'm late, I know. Sorry. Ooh. Nasty. I still hate somebody. So, nice truck, eh? With the um, this this comes with the this is one of the trucks that come when you when you get the Brazil map. You get these different some extra skins for various um, I'll show you some of the skins you get. Oh, they don't show them here. They only show them in the streamline. Get this thing. Top line. Get this. Line more. And I'll see here. So you can get. Things like this. 
Familiar Brazil Truck Club. Get all these Brazilian trucks. I picked this one because I like the color. They've done all sorts of nice uh, Brazilian trucks. That one's definitely orange. Oops. What else? Uh, oh, this one here. I missed that one. Yeah. That's Julia. Ooh, scary. Scary. Um, so, um, I've got to go and uh, look after my the rest of my uh, cooking of my Thanksgiving dinner, which is goat stew. So I have to cut up some veggies and put them in and simmer long enough to cook the veggies. So. Uh, I won't come back on. That's maybe half an hour. I'll read a book or something. Uh, use your own trailer. However, our next job here, should we do decide to take it? So we want to go keep going west, I guess. Again, more tubes. Not to Stockholm. Uh, so this is Brazil south, 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 northeast. Uh, Manchester, no. Scandinavia, south, 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 south. Brazil, I think the cent that's central. Yo. And again, uh, we can take tanks. Tanks for the um, north, I guess this is. Manchester, northeast, that's a pretty short one. East. East. I see I want something to go in this way. We're not getting anything. Um, I was gonna take a take a job now, but Ah, see, maybe that month there will be These things are sort of weird. I don't really like them. No, I think I'll do a. I think I'll do a rest, and I'll um. I'll find the uh, the cargo after, so I'll be on later tonight, either in Oregon or in Brazil. I don't know. I really like both. Anyways, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, viewing, people, and if you're a follower, thanks for following, and uh, I'll be on. Like I said. Probably later on tonight. Ta-ta for now. If I don't see you, have a nice evening.